centrally accessible monitoring solution is essential. FreeRTG was the obvious choice. One of the solutions to the climate crisis seems to be enhanced weathering, a method to draw carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and put it into the ground. We are using basalt and olivine rock in our experiments. And usually if you take a piece of basalt, it takes 100,000 years until it's weathered by the atmosphere. That's too long. We need it faster to do something against global warming. That's the reason why we are grinding the basalt into very, very fine a powder actually. And we spread this powder on the cropland. Our goal at Project Carp Down is to find a measurement system. The traditional way to measure this is uh, in a lab with water samples and stuff like that. But this is something that will make scaling this solution for the climate onto 10,000 of, of fields impossible because we do not have enough labs and it's, it's much too expensive. So we are trying to come up with something that we can measure on the field and get the data into a cloud system to find out what the weathering process is doing. And that is exactly what monitoring is. You get data from somewhere, collect the data and then analyze it later. Generally, we run many different devices from different manufacturers and in different forms of connectivity. And on top of that, uh, there are different protocols we have to deal with. So, for example, this sensor uh, measures pH, TDS, total dissolved solids, soil moisture, temperature, and NPK, and uses Modbus RTU as a protocol. When we started this experiment with the first, I don't know, maybe a dozen sensors, it, PRTG for me was the obvious choice because for our property I'm using PRTG installation with 500 sensors anyway. So it was the obvious choice to do the additional sensors also on that system. If you work with distributed teams, a centrally accessible monitoring solution is essential, like PRTG hosted monitor. This ensures that all people involved have access to data. The hosted version of PRTG is available super fast and includes the same features and functionalities that we know and that we love from PRTG. In the end, we need to understand and interpret the information that we have gained from lab experiments and from the sensors that are built into the soil. But this is called enhanced weathering. So weather is actually an issue. One of the things that we also use PRTG for is to measure all the environment data, like rain, precipitation, temperature, wind, and uh, solar radiation, because that changes the activities that are happening in the soil, which do affect the, the weathering. So that's also one of the reasons why we use PRTG, so we can get this environment data on a 20-minute level.